Hello everybody! Rubik's Cube is easy and fun to solve. I have simplified and tailor-made methods for my 6-year-old daughter. My 6-year-old daughter can do it, so can you! There are 7 steps in total. Be careful, in step 3, you have to defeat this monster. If you are afraid of the monster, you should instead play this smaller Rubik's Cube 2 times 2 which only needs step 2 and the last 2 steps. Now I'm going to teach you step 1 of solving Rubik's Cube. Before we start, let's begin with some basic things first. First, we need to understand that um, there are different parts of the Rubik's Cube. It is called the center, and these four are called corners. Next to the corners, these four pieces are called edges. And for each face, you will have center, corners, and edges. One more basic thing before we start is that for each Rubik's Cube, the centers, each of the six faces are fixed. So no matter how you move other uh, pieces, they will remain at the position. And throughout the teaching, unless I tell you otherwise, uh, usually we will place the yellow center as the top layer and the white center as the bottom layer. So let's start with step one. Step one, the target is to achieve white cores at the bottom, like this. Ignore the corners for step one. And to achieve this step more easily, we will do a daisy, which means we will do the white edges at, at the top layer just next to, to the yellow center. Again, ignore the corners. First of all, we will examine the top layer, yellow, whether there is already white edge at the top. Good, we have one. So then we find out the white edge elsewhere. Usually, uh, the white edge in the middle layer will be the easiest to move. For example, for this one, we can just move it like this. However, when you move this, for example, we have got this white uh, edge as well. You have to be careful whether you will disrupt the top white. For example, if you move like this, then the original white will disappear. So if you're going to move this first, then you need to rotate this elsewhere. And if you find that there are some white edge that you don't know how to move to the top, then uh, my advice is move it to the middle layer first because uh, it will be much easier to move to the top. For example, at the bottom layer here. So to move it to the middle layer, you can do this, but notice that you will move the top white as well. So I just move, rotate this first, and then I move this one. So it's middle layer, then just like before, we've got a daisy. Then after we've got daisy, look at our target. Because we are not just having a right course at the bottom, we are also having right course at the correct position, which means the blue edge is under the blue center, red under red, green under green, orange under orange. So look at this edge, it is red, so we have to find the red color, then just flip it to the bottom, like this. Similarly, well, this is blue, we can just flip it. And then look at here, this is green. So we can fit this orange. So we can fit. So now we have white cross and double check. Orange, blue, red, green. So step one is done.